President Donald Trump and his senior staff are headed on a group vacation, all at the direction of new Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney. White House senior staffers will spend the weekend at Camp David in Halvers, Maryland, a rural retreat for the office of President Trump will visit the retreat and lead meetings, but only on Sunday. Acting Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney invited White House senior staff to Camp David for a staff retreat to lay out the administration's 2019 priorities. President Trump will join the team and lead meetings on Sunday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said in a statement. Appendix March 22, 2018, File Photo, Office of Management and Budget Director Mick Mulvaney speaks in the Brady Press Briefing Room at the White House in Washington. President Donald Trump has named Mulvaney as his new chief of staff. More, Trump considering declaring national emergency in an effort to secure wall funding. Camp David is a little over an hour drive north from Washington. Trump has made it a habit of going to his properties in Mar-a-Lago, Florida, and Bedminster, New Jersey, when looking to get away from the capital. But he has visited Camp David on occasion. He made his first visit to the camp in June 2017 and visited the retreat four more times in his first year in office. It is not clear which staffers will be making the hike, though Vice President Mike Pence, son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen will not be visiting. The three will instead continue to negotiate with congressional leaders in a bid to end the partial government shutdown, which enters its 15th day on Saturday. President Donald Trump walks from the Oval Office to Marine One on the South Lawn of the White House in Washington, Friday, June 1, 2018, as he heads to Camp David for the weekend. More, Mick Mulvaney, President Trump not going to not accept money for a border wall. Trump has continued to assert he will not settle for any deal from Congress that does not include at least $5 billion in funding for his proposed border wall between the U.S. He threatened to keep the government shuttered for over a year on Friday in Mexico. There are no signs Democrats, which now control the House, are willing to budge on giving in to Trump's demands. About 380,000 federal workers have been furloughed, while another 420,000 are working without pay due to the shutdown. ABC News' Catherine Falders and John Santucci contributed to this report.